the oldest, the newest, the cheapest, most expensive, and my favorite. Hi there, this is Kat from Steps by Katja and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm gonna do something different because I fell last week and I hurt my ribs and so when I walk I feel it with every step that it's still hurting so uh, walking is not an option also my wrist is still hurting and so camping and all that not a smart idea so I picked up this challenge it's called show me my gear which is I've seen around in Germany and I picked it up from two German channels that I do follow the first one I saw was uh, Nicole from Fals Momente. I hope I'm pronouncing that all right the second one was Jürgen from Wolkenfanger Outdoors and Fitness. I saw them doing it and I thought, well, that would be fun. And it's all about showing five items, five items of your gear. And the first one is the oldest and the newest, the cheapest, the more expensive and your favorite. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start. First one is this silk liner. I have, I bought this in Vietnam in 1995 and you can still see it on the sign and I really like it because it's still lightweight um, it's really soft because it's silk uh, it wasn't expensive at that time and what I like about this is that you have you can put in your pillow and then you have this sheet this put your blanket in it and you just pull it over like that and you're really comfortable it has been traveling with me for the last 25 27 years and it will be probably be going with me for some more trips when i don't camp and i don't carry a sleep bag now item number two that will be my newest well i got this um this cup which is a 375 milliliter Tox titanium cup, which is really light. See, you got the hot lips. And that way I don't have to carry a cup to drink my tea. I can just drink it right in here. So I can boil water for a dehydrated meal and I can drink my tea right in there. So saving a little bit of weight again. That's my newest one. All right, then we go to number three, which is my cheapest one. That's this, and that's a little container it's a little bucket it has a lid on it and well and where do I use it for well it's it's nice if you have to get some water out that you can wash something up in there uh, I have used it to cold soak a meal well I didn't put it in there but I did put my my little pot in there which was not sealed very well had it sealed I put something a cloth on there closed it well and I carried it like this so that it wouldn't spill and one other use I have for it is at night, especially when it's you know cold in winter time, going out to pee, that's a really pain. And then the boys, they can use a bottle, but for girls, that's more difficult. So I do use this one and I can put this up and put in my vestibule and I'm all done. And then I rinse it the next day. If it gets too dirty, I just buy a new yogurt because this this little thing is really for free. You just throw it out in the trash normally. So I think it can count as a cheap item. All right. Next one on the list, the fourth one, is my most expensive one. And my most expensive one, well, it's the Z-Pack duplex tent with a freestanding kit. I already made a video about it, so if you want to watch that one. And put it I'll put it up here the link you can look at it and see where it's all about but it I'm not gonna go into the details on how much I paid for it it was a lot but I got a really good deal on it because I ordered it when I was traveling to the US so I got it shipped into the US which means that I didn't have to pay the shipment to Europe and I certainly didn't have to pay the pay the import taxes which would have been at least two hundred dollars so I think I made a good deal on this one and I'm really happy about it right and then I have my last item item number five which is my hat I 
really love it because yeah it keeps the sun out of my eyes it also you know it's it's rain it can handle a little bit of rain so it doesn't it helps also to cover up my ears it, it covers up everything also if it's windy it has this strap so you can strap it down and it doesn't blow away if it's really windy so I really like about that about it and also it could have been my cheapest item because well it's a bit of a story but I was driving home from from work you know I had my car was parked at the train station I came home by train took the car and I was driving and all at once I heard the kind of weird sounds outside my car and I was going okay well, what is this and so I stopped and I went out and this was hanging at the mirror outside of my car don't know what it was doing there but my guess is it somebody lost it in the parking lot at the train station somebody else found it probably next to my car put it up thinking it was mine and I found it hanging on my mirror so it's a cheap one and I really like wearing it so let's put on our hat and go this was it for show us your gear my five items and I do want to nominate three other people to make this video and I thought well let's nominate some of my friends that I met on the Cumberland Island trip in February so the first one I want to nominate is John from Senior Hiker 77 the second one I want to nominate is Ice Bear from Ice Bear Hikes and the third one I would like to nominate is Kevin the most famous singer Welcome to Cumberland from Atypical Hiking. So I hope you guys are gonna make this video as well. And if you're not nominated now, well, if you feel like making this video, just go for it. So it's called the Show Us Your Gear Challenge, and it's a really a lot of fun. So thank you for watching, and hopefully next week I'll be able to go back out and do something else. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>